G'day viewers, I thought I would, uh, I'm just out here in Sinagra doing some fault finding on a system. This is a pretty old system. Um, this is an old Xantrex inverter, they, they were very good quality back in their day. Um, and we got some Kanika Japanese solar panels up on the roof which I'll take you up and show you in a minute. Um, so this is quite an old system, it's about 15 years old. And it's even got one of my old stickers on there, that is me. And yes, I used to be a gas fitter, um, doing a, a bit of gas fitting and electrical, which was uh, quite unique. There's only a few of us around that have got a gas fitting ticket and a uh, electrical contractor's ticket. Um, but I had solar on there. That's back in the day when solar wasn't quite so uh, consuming as it is now. Um, but uh, what we've also got on here is this earthing kit. Now that's got uh, like a fuse in it and if that fuse blows it shuts down uh, the inverter and this was a retrofitting thing that a lot of people got their knickers in a knot about because um, systems were installed and then the installation companies were told by the solar panel manufacturer that they needed to come back out and install these negative grounding kits and um, the reason for that was it was creating damage to the solar panels uh, if the negative wasn't grounded or earthed. I'm not quite sure what damage to the panels um, but these are what they call a thin film panel. Honestly I don't know what the fuck that means but yeah that's a different type of solar panel. You got monocrystalline, polycrystalline, all those different type of bloody crystallines. But these ones are Kanika, Japanese 110 watt um, there's about 42 of them up here uh, there's some more on the other side but um, these are a high voltage low current panel 110 watts each that's one panel there and they had this fairly unique mounting system as well which was pretty cool back in the day would have been pretty labor intensive but the reason I'm out here and the reason I was out here last time this wasn't my installation um, but under here you've got three string fuses and then sorry six there's three for the positive and three for the negative so I should have filmed this before I put the cover back on but there's three fuses there another three there and uh, four in that one because um, that's another string there so we've got one two three four strings and these are what we call a combiner box um, where they all parallel together and then go down to the inverter via that conduit there but what's been happening, and it's the same reason I was here last time, is three of the fuses had actually blown. Now I've tested for faults, which can be quite confusing when you've got a uh, negative um, earth grounding kit installed. Um, so it's important to isolate that first when you're doing any testing. I didn't come up with any faults, the fuses were just simply blown. Now the fuses were quite close to the actual um, output of the panel. So I have bumped them up a little bit, um, but not too far that they'll serve their purpose. And, and their purpose is when you parallel the solar panels, um, fault currents can get quite high uh, because they can track through and combine and it can um, increase the voltage and the current and create some pretty hazardous situations and also damage the panels uh, if you exceed their voltage or their current limit. So it's important when you're paralleling um, strings of panels that you do fuse them uh, if you are exceeding their voltage or their current uh, limitations on their type label. So again, an older system I've done the fault finding I've got it back up and running it's pretty much making full power again which is four kilowatts um, but these fuses I couldn't find um, I eventually found a place in Welshpool thanks to a colleague um, Glenn thank you Glenn um, NHS I think it is sales or NH sales in Atlas Street Welshpool they sell every single fuse you could think of. Um, they're quite expensive though, the fuses. They're like $15 each. They're little HRC cartridge fuse. Um, and uh, I've thrown probably hundreds of them away in the past, but uh, now they're becoming quite scarce. Anyway, I've replaced those fuses. I've bumped the current rating up a little bit, because to be honest, I think it's just simply the heat 
and possibly a little bit of humidity someone else suggested that's causing them to blow when there's actually no fault and they're like I mentioned they are very close to their um, uh, blowing point so I bumped them up a little bit to 6 amp um, but the thing is a lot of my colleagues when I reached out on a social media group to try and find those fuses a few of them are like, nah, get rid of it, fuck it off, put a new system in, tell them it's rubbish, bin it. Well, no, there's 42 of these panels up here and they're all still fine. It just had a simple little fault. Um, so I've, for the sake of three fuses and my call out, uh, which was quite significant, I've got it back up and running again. It's making almost its full four kilowatts. Um, it's four and a half kilowatts worth of solar panels up here, but the most you'd expect is about four kilowatts. So uh, again, another example of not just throwing it away, creating landfill and you know having people up on your roof unnecessarily. If it can be fixed, fix it. And I'm by no means, you know, um, if it is warranted fixing because the panels are getting water ingress or your power bills are way out of control and you need a bigger system then yeah i'd say replace it but this is another example of salespeople saying no just pull it out and put a new one in it's not worth fixing they are worth fixing all right just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of knowledge and uh, they could get another 10 20 years out of this system i don't know depends how long that xantrex inverter will will last for but um, the panels are working well and uh, should keep going for a, another decade or two all right so there we go Jason June Delap Electrical Services 0412 866 428 I can take care of all of your solar and battery uh, dilemmas and just give you an honest uh, opinion and some direction on what to do if you've got an issue cheers guys